Today's retro spot, we're having a look at the Kenner Care Bears posable figure of Good Luck Bear. Today could be your lucky day, that's my motto, especially when you get a chance to meet and look for four-leaf clovers, horseshoes, and maybe even a rabbit's foot or two. You can see how old this packaging is as the fact that they condone rabbit's feet. Probably something that has been disbanded a long time ago due to animal rights, and I kind of think rabbit's feet are a little off. That's a little weird thing. It was a guy at school that had a rabbit's foot. Didn't think much of it at the time, but now looking at it, that's a little odd. It's a little odd. This is for ages three and up. This comes to us from the good folks at Kenner. Contains one posable figure, as you see right here. Unfortunately, the card has gotten a little yellow in the time that I've had this. Actually, I picked this up on uh, eBay a while ago, a long, long time ago. I think even before I was reviewing, um, I picked this up. Um, but it has held out rather well. At the top there, you have Good Luck Bear. Those following along in this video, in these videos, know that Good Luck Bear is one of Spot's favorite uh, Care Bears. On the back, Care, Lair, Care Bears are ten roly-poly little bears who live high up in the land of rainbows and fluffy clouds called Carolot. They're always keeping an eye on things down on Earth, and whenever you want to share your feelings with others, they'll come right down to help. One look at their tummies helps you understand why they're so good at helping you express whatever you're feeling. Of the other Care Bears you can pick up, or you would have been able to pick up back in 1982, you can get Tenderheart, Cheer Bear, Birthday Bear, Grumpy Bear, Friend Bear, Bedtime Bear, Funshine Bear, Love a Lot Bear, Good Luck Bear, and Wish Bear. It also says look for the exciting Care Lot playset and Cloudmobile vehicle to help create the fun filled world of the Care Bears. There's the Care Lot playset and also the Cloudmobile. Product of Kenner, made in Hong Kong, 1982. That's interesting as well. This is, it has a proof of purchase seal from General Mills. I didn't realize General Mills and, and uh, Kenner were like this, but apparently they were. Uh, I'm going to take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, there's definitely more retro to come as we have a look at Good Luck Bear. There's more to come. Stay tuned. Good Luck Bear, along with all the other Care Bears, comes with a poster. You want to put this poster up in your, on your bedroom door, closet door, you could certainly do that. It has a nice little read-up of the Care Bears. Some nice artwork as well. On the back, it shows all the Care Bears, all ten of them. And each one actually has the read-up that would have been on their respected packaging. This doesn't interest me all that much. This does interest me. This is the product catalog that comes with all the Care Bears, a, sta a staple with most 80s retro toys. Um, it shows some artwork on the front, and as we flip through it, we got some stuffed animals, 13 inch stuffed animals, posable figures, which we're having a look at today, the Cloudmobile toy vehicle, and Care Lot. I will review this eventually. Um, the Care Lot playset I never did pick up. I don't know if I would pick it up now, but uh, we got some coloring books and the Play Doh Care Bears playset. Something else that was huge in the 80s was Care Bear, well, not Care Bears, but was Play Doh uh, licensed properties. There was some Smurfs and Care Bears. Food, which I don't know, I, I still wonder why Play Doh would have made food. You're not supposed to eat it, but then we make food of things. I, I don't know. Having a look at Good Luck Bear. He is a vibrant green. Very, very minty looking. Um, surprisingly, he's sticky. I don't know why he's got all this stickiness to him. It's like I'm actually handling toffee. Um, as for his little tummy, you can see that he's got his four-leaf clover. You may or may not believe this, but when I was younger, me mum and me found a four-leaf clover. It's true, that's a true story. I wouldn't, I wouldn't joke around about giraffes or four-leaf clovers. She's got it somewhere in a photo album. 
Some would almost say that I've had good luck since that four-leaf clover. Verdict's not necessarily out on that just yet. Uh, the face, the face on uh, Good Luck Bear, is different than the other Care Bears. You don't believe me? You really don't believe me? All right, well, we'll reach off camera. I happen to have Tender Heart here. You can see where the characters vary. Their bodies are pretty much the exact same. Same legs, same arms. Maybe the arms are slightly different. But uh, the heads, even though same mold for the most part, the eyes they can easily just print over top, but then the mouths are just slightly different, as you can see right here. It looks like Good Luck Bear is a little larger of a head. No, it's about the same. It's about the same. Now, I don't really like the tuft of hair. I, if you've seen my review of him, I think Tenderheart really should not have had hair. It kind of takes away from the Care Bear. But I think Good Luck Bear, it totally works. He's got the luck of the Irish. Look at that. Look at that hairstyle. That's awesome. Now, it's the same material as the, like the My Little Pony uh, tails and stuff like that. So if you're trying to tell what material that is, give or take, it's about the same as a My Little Pony. Uh, I just really love how vibrant green this Care Bear is. And that, that tummy just glows. Just glows the luck of the Irish. On the back, there's a little heart on his tush. Of course, something I don't know if I always mention, but he's got some hearts on his feet as well. Um, also, something else too, you'll see that his arms, one's higher up than the other, but they are somehow connected, which is something you'll find with most Care Bears. The arms are connected to one another. You could independently move them, but they don't seem to want to move unless you move both of them. He also has a head rotation, and he also has his leg rotation as well. Care Bears aren't the easiest to stand. Sometimes you have to put them in the, I gotta go to the bathroom stance to get them to stand properly. I don't, again, I don't know why he's as sticky as he is. Maybe there was a residue or something that was put, it probably is around the joints. As you can see, there's a little bit of sheen going on around the joints here. It could be maybe a, a lubrication or something. It could have been just the fact that the it was maybe warm, this toy, when it was packaged, that maybe this stickiness residue remained. I'm not quite sure. Tender Heart doesn't have that. So I don't know why Good Luck Bear has it. Maybe that's why. Uh, hey, good luck, man. There's a whole bunch of goop all over that. But I still really like that. This brings certainly a lot of memories back from my childhood. Uh, good luck, Bear. I'm going to give him an, an 8. Today's Retro Spot, we're having a look at another Care Bear. And today, we were having a look at Good Luck Bear. He's got the luck of the Irish. I'm certainly lucky that I was able to pick him up. Stick around, guys. More Retro Spots are heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.